Hello out there and welcome to English Teacher Plays. We're here with Regain Earth First Strike, which is a new game. It's on Steam. Full disclosure, I did receive my copy for free and we're going to play it. So it looks like it's got single player and multiplayer and I guess we're going to play single player because, uh, yeah, why not? Hangar or factory? Uh, pff, look, I... Selected grenade two times. Uh, oh, okay. I mean, sure. Oh, it just, it got real small for just seemingly no reason. Um, I had it set to windowed full screen and then, yeah, it loading. Okay, hold on a sec. I'll see if I can make it bigger again. Hold on. No, it didn't like that. No, it's... Okay, I'll, I'll try and fix it. I'll try and fix it. Okay, I think I got it. Well, sort of. Oh, God. That's... I'm detecting strong elect electromagnetic... That, magnetic signals. There's... Oh. Mutex approaching. Use your scanner to search for the remaining hostiles. Okay, so I gotta fight some mutex, I guess. Right. Press R to reload. Oh. There we go. I burned a big boy. That's, uh... Okay. So, let's just kill these guys. The mutex. Who are, do I, do I have a, do I have a different weapon? I, it looks like I've got a bunch of, I've got an assault rifle on my back. Oh. Okay, I thought I saw someone over here. Maybe not. There's like a slide or a, oh, it's a swing, I see. Or something. Oh, it's like target practice. Okay. So I'm just waiting for the uh, the radar thing to to refill so that I can find these other mutex. Rather than mutants, they are mutex. Um, oh, there they are. I found them. I killed a big boy. Alright, is that the end of that? What is that thing? I don't... I, I don't understand what that is. Okay. So how do I... How do I start again? Oh... Okay? Um, so, uh, play, play the map again, I guess. Ugh. I've got to fix the screen again, of course. Uh, yeah, so we can play, we can play the paintball version. Um, I'm just trying to, okay, there we go. All right. So those, those things, the uh, little machines are no joke, so. Right. We're just waiting for the mutex to come in, I guess. There we go. Kill the big boy by headshot. 
Where are the rest of them? See, I don't like that. It's that gun. That gun is still there. Yeah. Those guys are pretty easy to kill, which is good. Sure. We'll, do, we'll just do the scan. Why not? Okay. So they're over there. There's that little machine thing that killed me last time. I don't really feel like getting killed by it. Oops. Okay. Can I destroy that thing? I can. It's gone. Good. Now I don't get killed by it. Because while the, um... Alright. So there's some different, different styles of enemies. I like those ones. They sort of flop over. Um, I don't like the, the machine guy. Here we go. These guys are pretty funny, though. There we go. Yeah, and there's another guy here. So, we're still waiting for our their thing to recharge. I do like that they take some time to roar at us. Oh, we beat... Well done, Agent Mr. Jacobs. All mutex of Wave 1 got killed. Nice. Alright, so Wave 2 is on its way. So we'll come out here to the road. Yeah. And they, they just teleport in or something. That's, that's the vibe I get. Alright, here comes some more of them. So far, they're not too much of a threat. Ooh, we get a new gun. Finally, we get to use the uh, assault rifle uh, thing on the back of us. Oh, here we go. Is that, I mean, are they coming or what's going on? Nice. Oh, what is that? Oh, there's like, whatever that is. That thing looks weird. What is that? Oh, it teleported. I killed a scary. Okay. I can see why they're called a scary. They teleport all over the place. We'll, we'll do some scoping out so there's like eight more dudes left sure and what, what was going on there why, why was it still going uh. gotcha and there's another guy. Got him. I mean, it's fine. You know, just for like a game where our uh, our role is just to shoot these stupid things in their stupid heads. <clears throat> That's fine. Here come here's some more guys. They're like hanging out in the in the crates. <laughs> yeah, all of Mutex of Wave 2 got killed. Nice. 
All right, let's get wave three going. Teleporter still seems to have enough power. Again, I receive strong signals. We'll go out here. This is a good place to. This is a good place to wait for uh, the baddies. All right. So we always had access to that assault rifle, and we just weren't using it. What is that? Okay, that's that is pretty cool. Alright, so that thing is pretty cool. That that mech that just came down. Oh. Alright. All right, so what we're doing here is we're kiting that uh, big monstrosity while we take care of the uh, the other things. Yeah. Yeah, that's a, none of that seems to be doing much, huh? Okay, so that's that's not actually working out to our advantage, is it? Um, can we, how high can we jump? Not very, not high enough to get up there. Okay, well, let's go take care of these other things. Oh, I don't like any of that. Jeez, that's a lot of... I can't see anything. And I'm just gonna die here, yep. Yeah. Yeah, I knew I, knew I was just gonna die there because I couldn't see where I was aiming or anything. Um, I don't know. It's fine. It is fine. Let's go look at the description, I think. Um, oh, well, let's see. Let's, I guess maybe we'll see whatever, uh, what the, let's see what other options we've got. Let's see what the multiplayer options and stuff are. Oh, I love how it just keeps dropping back out to a different size. Um, so multiplayer, fine match. So the, no one else is playing it. That's okay. It doesn't have to, you know, there, there's a single player thing going on. So that's okay. Let's look at customize loadout. Grenade loadout. Right. Anti-aircraft turrets. So you can get all these other things. Get the upper health pickup and hangar map. Right. So there are upgrades and stuff. That's fine. Player skin. That's pretty cool. So we've got dark blue, black. So there is some customization, and there's, but it's not much. List of unlockable skins. Right. Okay. Sure. Leaderboard and statistics. Wow, that's very loud for all of a sudden. So, I'm ranked uh, 138 out of uh, the whole world. And I'm okay with that. I'm okay with that. I think we go look at the description now. I think we go look at the description. All right, regain Earth, first strike. Now, um, uh, this came up as soon as I opened the thing. Caution, you watch a solo developer game. Expect the unexpected. So it's developed by one person. That's fine. 
Um, you know, games don't have to be, you know, multiple people. I like the mech. The mech was very cool. That's probably my favorite thing that happened. Um, it's, it's fine. You know, it's, <laughs> look, it's, it's not like amazing or anything. It's, but it's not terrible. I guess it's all going to come down to how much it costs. So it's currently 55% off at $7.91. So like six bucks US or five. Actually, I think $7.91 is like four bucks US because the New Zealand dollar is uh, very weak against the US dollar at the moment. Um, so that would be a good price. At $17, I probably would expect a bit more than just a map with enemies on it coming at me in waves. Um, you know, like for, for that much, I would expect just, I don't know, just a little bit more to it. Um, but that's okay. If you want to, if you want to pick it up, if you like what you see, then that's an, that's an okay price. So take the challenge of surviving waves of increasingly difficult evil mutex. Grab a friend to hunt and slay them. Crush each wave with randomly dropped weapons and gadgets, earn achievements, new maps, and top ranks in this community driven solo dev project. Help shape the future of this game. Currently has 48 positive reviews. Uh, came out, oh, came out last year. Sure. Um, don't know why we have a play test, but that's okay. And the, what are the, what are the fan rewards? And the content includes a player skin. Right. So for an extra $15.49, you get a player skin. Is that, is that really what you get? Like, content includes a player skin. It's not a totally funky new style, but the skin clearly so shows that you are special. But then, but then there's no, like, screen grabs of it or anything. There's nothing, there's no way for me to know whether it's worth my paying double what the game costs. Oof. If you want a good third person game then this game is for you. You can enjoy it with your teammate. Regain Earth First Strike is a third-person sci-fi shooter game. Take the tough challenge of surviving waves. Yeah, blah, blah, blah. We saw that. Cheese the top of the leaderboard. Stunning action awaits you and your friends in cooperative multiplayer. No long and boring storytelling. Just jump right into the action with your friends and enjoy the entertaining and challenging co-op play. Yeah, I mean it, but... It's just like, it's just one map. And... You know, like, the enemies are kind of interesting, but it, it, I played for 15 minutes and I think I've had enough time. Like, I don't, the combat wasn't rewarding enough that made me, that, that I felt like, hey, I definitely want to go and, you know, beat the third wave. You know, I lost on that second wave. I'm going to try again. Yeah, it wasn't rewarding enough to do that. So it needed a little bit more. So I know you're saying no boring story, but like, I don't know, man. Sometimes story keeps you invested when the gameplay is not, uh, you know, top tier. Our main goal is to offer our dear players an exciting... So why is it our, though, if it's a solo dev? Why, why not just say my? Why not say my if you're just by yourself, man? Um, entertaining and not too complex shooter game. Just enjoy the fun gameplay. Choose a map and try to survive and score as many points as you can to get your name to the top of the leaderboard. Fight waves of different types of mutants and robots, surviving each and every assault until the last one. Collect scores over time to build up your loadout, unlock achievements, and unlock new character skins. Yep, story. 300 years into the future, Earth is lost, and you are the forefront of soldiers trying to get the upper hand against a very strong unknown enemy in order to re regain Earth. As an indie game studio, we cannot provide AAA graphics, but we do deliver amazing a graphics and lots of great action scenes to your screen. Control your avatar, a futuristic soldier, in an awesome third-person perspective with lots of stunning effects that will blow your mind. Uh, yeah, I mean, look, it's not... It didn't blow my mind. I liked... I actually did quite like some of the effects. The scaries were, were very cool, you know? And uh, um, they, they were they were sufficiently creepy that I was like, oh, what is that? And then was weirded out by them and then they teleported right next to me. Um, it was a cool mixture of, like, sci-fi and horror. I like that. Um, I like the big mech. That was cool. The graphics are not bad. Yeah, they're pretty good. Um, but it is just, you know, it is just like a little closed-in area. Um, it's hard to get excited about a, an industrial area that the monsters just spawn into. I don't know. I don't know, man. But it's fine. And like I said, at the current price, definitely, you know, 
definitely worth it's worth the seven dollars ninety one uh, you know i could say that if you like this kind of game it's worth that i wouldn't pay seventeen dollars for it but it's worth the seven dollars ninety one um let's see played almost 240 hours so far i just don't see how but now it so he's got one review one review see this is the only game this person has ever reviewed <laughs> and they now have 571 hours of this game i don't see how that's possible unless this is the developer here you know like that just seen that's that is blowing my mind what what did the developer say about this um, played my game for over 300 hours and I don't even know you. You're exactly the kind of player I'm looking for because you understand what my game is all about. Thank you, but unfortunately I haven't had much success overall, which is generally not a problem, but since I ran out of reserves, I had to step back a bit from developing. Therefore, little new came in the past few months. Right. I'm sorry you can't find multiplayer players. I had to learn that it is extremely difficult for a single indie game to have to get a foothold in multiplayer games. Yeah, yeah. Multiplayer games for indie devs, just, it's not worth it. Unfortunately, since only a few players play refs throughout the day, it's hard to find teammates. Um, yeah, so, like I said, I'm... <laughs> this is nice for the developer to have this person writing this, but... This is the only review they've ever made. And it's Jeff from Australia. Right. Sure. Um, yeah, I just... That kind of... That's weird, right? I'm not the only one that thinks this is weird. He has one review, and he has 571 hours in the game. Okay, well, I got, I got a little sidetracked there. Sorry. Um... So here are some reasonable reviews that don't have 600 hours in the game. Game is unpolished, but it's generally fun. Pricing is too high for this type of game. It should have been under $10. Not worth over $20. Uh, yep, agree. It's a great game to play with your friends, or even alone, because of the different difficulties in many enemies and even more weapons. The game does not fail to keep me entertained, even after the first matches. I didn't encounter any bugs whatsoever in my playtime, even though it is an early access game and the graphics speed for itself. Right? Uh, got one review. So, I'm always curious about these games that have uh, a bunch of, you know, positive people who have one review. Uh, but this is pretty game, pretty fun game. Wasn't expecting waves, though, but kept me on my toes, so it was so cool. Okay. Um, I didn't even play it for 30 minutes, and it's not bad, to be honest. It is a really nice game for one-man project. Sure, there are some problems, like buggy little stuff. You can look over it. The text is the main thing I don't really like, but overall, that's it. Sure. Yeah, man, these reviews are really, uh, I'm, they're a bit weird, but that's okay. Fun game to play with friends. This is a low-budget, indie-developed, third-person wave shooter with currently only two outside maps to play. There's no single-player campaign, just two multiplayer-style maps with bots. The main problem I had is that the key bindings are hard-coded and permanently bound to certain keys. So they gave a negative review because they didn't like the, uh, the key bindings, and I guess that's their prerogative... Yeah, yeah, so, uh, odd. <laughs> An odd, odd group of reviews, but that's okay. Um, it doesn't, we don't always have to understand what people are writing, or why. Um, and I'm not gonna make any accusations about Mr. I played 600 hours of Regain Earth First Strike. It just seems weird, and, and... Like, it's the only game that you've ever played. You know, like it said, it said that that, that, um, that person who reviewed the game had four products in their account. So, I, I don't know, man. I don't know why you would spend 600 hours in this game. <laughs> I, I just don't, I don't know what, what would, you, what, what would get you there. But that's okay. Uh, I think that's it. It, it is what it is. You've seen the game. Um, I don't think there's more, too much more to it than what you guys saw. Um, there may be some different kinds of, uh, you can see in the, the trailer here, there, there may be some different kinds of uh, bots and enemies that might come down, although it, 
you know, I'm not seeing too many different things that we didn't already fight. Um, and there's a, a few different weapons. And it's fine. And it's fine. And if you can get it on special, if you can get it cheap, then it's probably worth your time. So I'm going to leave it there. Thanks for watching. Like and subscribe. Leave me a comment down below. Check out the game by clicking on the link in the description. And I will see you next time. Class dismissed.